We've talked a lot about System76 before. They make computers that are built specifically to run Linux. They're a company who's entirely based around producing Linux supported systems. And they've been, they've been around for a while. For years. They're good guys. We've, uh, we've talked to them in the past. I've owned, just a little disclaimer, I have owned a System76 laptop myself. Now they have been very um, Ubuntu centric yes. uh, over the years. They decided so, to kind of standardize behind Ubuntu. And, and you know, you can't blame them for standardizing on one particular distro or another. Uh, the good news is they put a lot of effort into making sure that the hardware uh, that they sell works really great under Ubuntu so that, you know, they work on drivers and whatnot. So even if you want to be using uh, OpenSUSE or Fedora or yep. what have you, uh, a lot of those drivers are still going to yeah. work or uh, their tech support is still going to help you out. Specifically, if they have to develop a driver, they do release it as open source. So eventually it does trickle into They're all distributions. They also include a driver reinstallation package with each laptop. So for some reason, your drivers ever got out of or whack. Or desktop. And everybody, everybody knows, yeah, they do sell desktops and service too. Everybody knows sometimes weird things just happen with drivers. They include a little, a little utility. You can hit a button and it automatically reinstalls all the drivers and it's they very slick. and they keep that up to date using a package management system. It's very very cool. They do they do a very nice job. So, um so this is kind of their, one of their latest offerings is the uh let me, let me go ahead and uh, move that ca power cable out of the way there. This is the System 76 Serval laptop yep. series. It's kind uh, of their professional line of products. And it is, you know, not a uh not a bad little rig. No, let it's let me minimize the email that we were looking at there. Um <laughs> so but uh, uh it's hard to see it quite from there. It's the 15. Point 50.4 inch screen, so you know it's not huge. It's not those mega mammoth 17 inch, you know, desktop. But it's got it's a good size. It's not too big and it's not too small. What's the resolution on this? This one is currently running at 1680 by 1050. Not bad, not bad. That's so desktop resolution the, for sure. The screen is very, very nice. Um, it's very a little crisp. dimmed right now because we just unplugged the power, but it's it's very, very high quality screen. I got it. I got to admit to that being quite nice. Yeah. It, uh, it it's definitely very sharp, very crisp, very vivid. Now this is uh, if you've been watching our reviews, you've seen us review like the uh, the triple E's and the uh, the HP Mini 1000s and things like that. Those are all very small. This is not. This is very uh, very much a hefty, uh, more of a desktop replacement type. It, it of definitely a machine. is a desktop replacement, uh, it's, and it's spec as such. It, it is. is. Uh, it's not. It's not. They don't. They don't skimp. This one, this particular unit has a 2.6 or 2.16 gigahertz uh, Core 2 Duo, yep. four gigs of RAM, a 250 gig hard drive with uh, 7200 RPMs too. So it's not really, it's really no not slouch. Bad. Yeah, yeah no, no slouch at all. Um, uh, you know, full size keyboard and everything. That, that's kind of nice. Um, you know, it's got a fingerprint reader on it, which, to be honest, um, uh, you don't love those. I'm not a big fan either. of the fingerprint readers. If you can see it here. Um, the fingerprint reader is on the bottom end here, kind of right in between the left and the right mouse buttons, and it kind of just gets in the way of, of clicking. Right. Um, and I know, you know for some people that's a plus, and they yeah. include packages to work with the fingerprint reader. Right. So it does actually work. Um, there's, a, there's an enroll application where you enroll your different fingers. In case you were to lose one, you can have other fingers registered. <laughs> and, uh, well, isn't that handy? Uh, you know, so for they some do people, not discriminate against the lack of pointy finger. And for some people, uh, that's a nice feature. For me and for Brian, uh, we're not huge fingerprint reader fans, but we don't have to use it. We don't have to use it. So. We can just turn it off and, uh, and ignore that it's there. Also, while we're talking in the uh, trackpad region, I would like to see a little wider trackpad. There's a lot of space for it. There's a, yeah. if you see, as you can see, there's a... There's it's kind a of got a brushed metal finish to it. Yeah. At least on the, and here it just kind of has a pattern, but it's actually on the back, on the on the lid here, it yeah. does have a brushed metal. To be to be fair, I really like the brushed metal yeah. uh, pattern. It looks very classy, and the System76 logo looks very nice it's on It's pro. There. If you're if you're at work in a business environment, this is, it's going to look good. It's but not going to be a the, yeah, uh, the trackpad has a built-in side patch here where you can do the scrolling, so you can yep. scroll up and down. That's it's pretty standard. Very nice. Uh, it's good to see it, though. And uh, I want to point out my favorite feature of this. No is, Windows key. There's no Windows key. There's there Ubuntu is key. an Ubuntu sticker on this key, and it doesn't. It looks like it's recessed, so it doesn't look like there is actually at all a Windows logo on there. It's not just a sticker. There's also an Ubuntu sticker over here instead right. of a Windows sticker. Right. So I, I do got to admit to liking that. It's pretty and, clean and overall. And if you look at the bottom of it, you're not going to see that traditional uh, the Windows XP or Vista license With the that's thing been ripped. scrapped off of it, yeah. like that, that every other laptop on the planet has. So right. honestly, that's kind of worth it right there for me. Yep. Uh, now, uh, port wise, of course. It got the standard DVD burners, of course, it's got a little SD card reader and a little PCI Express slot, of course. Uh, three USB ports, USB 2.0 ports, you know, average. It's Ethernet. actually the same as the uh, Asus of Tripoli, so it's... Ethernet and modem if you need a modem still. Uh, now, the back is where it starts to get interesting yeah. for me. Um, so, it's got an eSATA port on it, which is 
awesome. That I is mean, awesome. Uh, that's that's actually fairly rad. Uh, he sat uh, in a laptop is a great idea. I've got a uh, I've got a Sony at home that is uh, considerably more expensive than this guy, by the way. Like by like good five hundred bucks. This one was under no, six. Say that. This machine's under sixteen hundred dollars. Really, it's, it's really not bad. It also has an HDMI output, which we have not tested here yet. Um, so uh, and DVI. I'm out. curious to see how that works. Yeah, and, and DVI out as well. And they specifically say in the notes that come with the machine that the DVI out can work. Uh, if you hook up like a projector, you just need to go into the NVIDIA control panel that this comes with to configure the NVIDIA video card that this has. That's really not bad. It's not bad. Uh, so the, yeah, the eSATA was an interesting and pleasant surprise. That's really, uh, the eSATA was kind of one of the cool parts of this. Um, yeah. Downside, the microphone. Check this out. This is ridiculous. So uh, I don't know if you guys can see that quite right there, but right here, that little hole, that's the microphone. Right in front of the alt and little menu keys is a microphone. Uh, so the problem with that is your wrist rests there. Right. So if you're if you're talking, if you're having a web conference with somebody and you're typing, boom, 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 they're just gonna hear on the microphone. Kind of a weird spot for it. Really, it should be up here next to the webcam. Anyway. Which it does work with Linux. This, this webcam up here, built in, works with Linux. Yeah. I've used it. Uh, I actually did a Ustream broadcast with this, so that was very nice. It works. It, it, the system does work. And so the I other thing, the other thing that works just as you expect. If you close the lid, the laptop goes to sleep. No problem. There the laptop go. opens up. Now, some people, that's like, of course, that should work. That has traditionally been an issue with <laughs> really Linux has. laptops. It really has. Um, so, uh, you know, the battery life, we've only been running it for uh, a little while. On it. It's so far, I've been running for about an hour, so that's not too oh, bad. Oh, check this out. On the front of it, a little 13, uh, IE 1394, a little FireWire port, mm -hmm. sitting right on the front of it next to the, uh, the audio in and out. You know, the only thing I can think of that is a camera. Right, that, well, that's the whole point, is to hook up a video camera to it. Mm -hmm. and I just think it's interesting that there's a FireWire point kind of on the front, away from the USB, away from the eSATA, just sticking out here on the front. And there's no other data ports on the front other than the audio in and out. So that's, yeah. that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that would be, I guess, just for walking up and hooking up a video camera to import. And, you know, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, um, it's, it's not that loud of a laptop, but it does get kind of It fanny. can kick up. I mean, it does have some pretty hefty big yeah. CPUs in there. If you see there. on the bottom here, it's... Uh, it's got a fairly big beast of a guy down there. A lot of ventilation all over the place here. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's not, uh, you know, it's not a mega light laptop. In terms of aesthetics, though, the laptop is definitely very nice. It has a polished finish around the bezel of the edge here. And then it has on the sides here, the joints, the, uh, what would you call these? Like the, uh, the points where the laptop monitor part swivels up. Right. These all are hinge there, little yeah. hinges. Yeah, they look very nice. And uh, it looks classy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it does look quite good. So I think yeah. I, aesthetics wise, this laptop is very nice. Yeah. Uh, the battery is easy enough to remove. And uh, of course, when you uh, buy a laptop from System76, you also get their support package that comes. So if you have issues with Ubuntu right. Linux and things like that, they have a forum and an active user community. And, and they're, they're good guys. And they're very responsive. They're very, so, very good guys. So I got I got to give it props to that. Actually, my biggest uh, downfall with this laptop is it shipped to us with a copy of 64-bit version of Ubuntu 8.10 installed, and we had a couple issues with which that. we had a couple issues. And the reason but they did they that is for the four gigs of RAM right. support. But there weren't there weren't any problems necessarily with the hardware, but just some problems that are inherent that people run into from time to time with 64-bit Ubuntu it, or 64-bit Linux in general. Yeah. Um, um, but uh, that said, maybe it's worth it to get the, uh, the extra RAM. So, but it is a, it is a fast machine, right? It and, is oh, quite just nice. a side note too: it runs with a it ships with Ubuntu 8.10, the latest version of Ubuntu, yep. and Flash 10 pre-installed. So you get the latest version of oh. Flash, which yeah. makes things like doing UStream and whatnot possible, and very cool. uh, uses uh, less processor, and has 64-bit version available. That's slick. So that's the kind of thing where these, where System76 really thinks of this kind of stuff. Right. Is they went ahead and they said, okay, if we're shipping a 64-bit Linux, let's ship it with 64-bit Flash 10 as well. And that's one of the few, that's one just one of the few examples you can get where these guys really think of this stuff because they really know the product. It's yeah, they they do a great job. I mean, if you if you're in the market for just a dedicated Linux box, so there you go. Um, this is really not a bad way to go. I mean, I can't, I can't complain. I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. HP and Dell have been getting into the market too as well. But these guys have been around, yeah. and sometimes it's nice to support the smaller shops who are who are kind of focusing on a little better uh, personal service. And uh, these guys do great. So it's a great product. Uh, so. Other than the my one or two drawbacks to it, which honestly some people might not see as drawbacks at all. So you know, take it for what it is. So this is the System76 Serval Professional Series. We've talked a lot about System76 before. They are a vendor who will make... Let's start over. 
Who will make? Who will they make? will make computers. Yeah. Computers you can use yeah, with someday. keyboards. We've often talked about the microcomputer and what it could mean <laughs> to your home. All right, shut up. <laughs>